I can't believe I'm finally making this video. You've read the title, and this is something I've wanted to say forever. We're just gonna say it. <sighs> I'm moving to Los Angeles. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars It's time after holding onto a rubber band stretching itself between Los Angeles and me for years now, after having already visited four times in the past, I decided to just do it. This is the first episode in the LA Move series, and in this episode I'll take you with me on the beginning steps of making the move happen. If everything goes my way, hopefully later this year. Let's go. Yes, it's true, I've officially begun the process of hopefully moving there this year late summer. If everything goes my way, I'll move in freaking August and it's so soon! What? So welcome to the first episode. I'm so excited about this. In this series, I'll take you with me on the journey of a Swede moving to America, moving to Los Angeles, applying for visa, school stuff, to finally moving in and finding an apartment and, you know, it's just the whole deal. So you can probably expect ups and downs and fun stuff. This will be an adventure. I can't wait to take you with me. I've been wanting to move to LA for so long, years and years. And a couple of weeks ago, as I was standing there at my job, pouring smoothies into plastic glasses, it hit me. What the heck? Let's just do it now. So I did something crazy yesterday. <laughs> my system went haywire and I applied to a school in Los Angeles. It's just been building up lately, and all of a sudden I was like, we're just gonna freaking move. We're just gonna freaking do it. I just got an email back. I'm gonna read it right now. <laughs> okay, it's underway. It's starting. <sighs> and the reason why I haven't moved yet is because there has been opportunities for me here and I've traveled and enjoyed travel vlogging and stuff like that. You know what? This is an adventure and we're just gonna do this, take it one step at a time, see what happens. I don't know for how long I'm gonna live there. Maybe I'll live there forever. Maybe it's just for a little while. I'm open to opportunities. So we're just gonna go. I'm not reasonable. I should probably stay and save some more money, but you know what life is now? And I'm grabbing onto that and I'm gonna go. I know you're thinking, Josie, what are you gonna be doing there? And I figured to start off, I'm applying to this school where I'll just take a few courses. It's a minimum of 12 units. So I can choose whatever classes I want. And I know that that will give me free time to do YouTube and vlog and land in LA, you know, and go around on adventures. And obviously I'm gonna choose classes like music and singing and musical theater and acting and stuff like that. So it'll be fun. So now let's talk about the first steps I've taken. I sent in the application to Blueberry, which is an organization in Sweden that helps us apply to schools and helps us through the visa process and everything basically. And it's for free. They're helping me for free. I'm like, what? It's been really good. And that way I know I'm doing it the right way. You know, it's, it's just nice to have them there. And they've been so great. They've been, this is not a sponsored video by any chance, but yeah, so far I definitely recommend them if you're Swedish. <laughs> and there's one woman there helping me out. She quickly emailed me a list of the things I needed to do, the steps I needed to take. I guess now I'm gonna start putting together a to-do list. <laughs> and now it's actually happening. I don't know why I'm whispering. Do I have something in my... Mm. I've had something on my lip this entire time. <laughs> Now it's actually happening. I'm actually putting together a to-do list. All the things I need to send into the school and... Ah! It's crazy because it's something that I've... All these years I've wanted to move to LA. I've imagined myself doing that. And, and now that time is now, right now, right now, right now. <laughs> so I sent in a copy of my passport. Then they needed my grades in both Swedish and English. So... I emailed the school I went to and also the new school I'm at because <laughs> as many of you know I didn't actually completely finish the Swedish equivalent to high school so I'm taking online courses now I'm almost done. Is this too close up? No, I think I think I think we're good. I think it's 
perfect. Yeah. I don't have time to switch lenses right now. I'm in the middle of schoolwork. Oh wow. Woo. <laughs> Meditational music and schoolwork. So close. I'm just gonna freaking finish this. I just received more grades. Well, I had them before, but I ordered my grades from the school I've been going to after finishing school. <laughs> the courses I've been taking online now to finish. Um, yeah, little steps uh, every day. So I'm just gonna make it a little brighter <laughs> so you can read the freaking text. After this, I'll only have, I think, um, a cover letter to write and some kind of a financial statement, which is <laughs> gonna be interesting. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, the ball is rolling. We're doing stuff now happening and I received those really quick and I sent them in and then I had to post this general requirements thing with my signature on it and that was so much fun I don't know why it was so much fun to like type on an envelope get a stamp got a big envelope here I'm gonna mail it's general requirements for Santa Monica College that I had to sign. Yeah, sending that in. Exciting footage, content. Guys, I gotta say, it was so much fun writing on this envelope and just putting the paper in the envelope. And I don't know, it was just fun because I feel like we don't do that a lot these days and it brought me back. It's just fun to, and I'm actually excited to go put it in the mailbox and get a little stamp to put up here. Can someone relate? <laughs> Ooh right. I'm posting on the head. I'm posting on the head. And what do you think? Look at the stamp, it's so pretty! Butterfly! I mean I wanted to put it on myself. She just did it, but And then the very last thing I did was the step that took most work and time and that was the application motivation cover letter to the school. I'm now going through the very last steps of the application process and this is kind of the biggest part of it and it's the motivation cover letter. I'm gonna write one page telling the school why I want to study there, what classes I want to take, I think like kind of what I want to study and then my future plans apparently. I've started with just getting my information together, researching a little bit about the school, looked at some videos <laughs> on how to write a good letter. I think it's pretty chill though, the school is open to many I feel so. I, I mean I still want to do a good job, I still want to write a good letter, you know, it's just in me to do that. Yeah, I think once I just get into it, it's gonna be great. It's just getting started, that's the thing. What should we start the letter with? I'll update you guys later. So I wrote a page and I think, I think it went well. I think it did, I think it did okay. <laughs> and now I'm waiting. I sent in the application fee to the school and now, yeah, I'm waiting to get accepted, I guess. And after that, the visa process can begin, which I'm sure will be a fun ordeal. <laughs> I need to pee, be right back. Hi, I'm back. And that's where I am now. The next episode will probably come in a month or something when I have a bunch of more updates for you guys. I can't wait to take you on this adventure with me. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs>